Hello, it's time for another collection update. This time we're going over my complete Full Moon Blu-ray collection. Now I have tons of DVDs, but I don't have as many Blu-rays. Two reasons for this. A lot of these DVDs aren't on Blu-ray yet. Other reason, I just haven't bought them. <laughs> so, first up, we have the Subspecies Blu-ray Collection Volume 1. This contains Subspecies 1, 2, and 3. I believe I've done an unboxing of these before. There's Subspecies, there's Bloodstone Subspecies 2, and Bloodlust Subspecies 3. So it doesn't have uh, Vampire Journals or any of the other ones here. Like, uh, here would be a DVD box set with, you know, it's got number four, and then <laughs> Vampire Journals, right? So, doesn't have those. Next up would be the Blu-ray Collection Volume 1 for Puppet Master. So it contains Puppet Master 1, 2, and 3. So you get Puppet Master, Puppet Master 2, and Puppet Master 3, Toulon's Revenge. I'm expecting that there will be another set of Puppet Masters and then probably a complete box set. Um, mostly just repackaging, you know, based off of what a Full Moon generally does. Um, I don't expect any extra, you know, difference in terms of the discs or anything. Um, I don't have the Puppet Master stuff in this section here. It's in another section. But, I do also have um, Puppet Master Axis of Evil signed by Charles Band and then Puppet Master Axis Rising so I do have most these ones were not in these well these when Blu-ray came out these were that's when these were produced so they came in as Blu-rays as well um and they would not be in the original box set. No, they wouldn't, would they? No, because I think Retro Puppet Master was the last one that came out for that one. So, yeah, I think that would, well, that, you know what, that makes sense, right? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a box set with all eight or nine, because I do believe there is another one coming if it hasn't already been released. So... I would expect them to do another three volume, three disc volume two, and then have a Blu-ray, the Ultimate Puppet Master Collection, where they add in this. Maybe there will be a volume three with these three in it, but you know I've already got these two, so I wouldn't need that. But yeah, I do not have any of the other ones. I'm trying to think what else has been released. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, it's a good question. <laughs> oh, what else has been put onto Blu-rays? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, nothing's coming to me right away. But I do know there are other ones. Um... Now, of course, a lot of the stuff that I would consider that would go in this section has been released by, um, you know, like, Screen Factory and such. Um, Crawl Space is technically an Empire Pictures, so that's Full Moon. Um, uh, I know there's other ones, but I can't remember what they were. So, yeah, I mean, which... Which collection would I... I guess it would be in the Scream collection more so than the Full Moon collection, though. Because mm -hmm. right, it's... Who released it on Blu-ray? That's who I'm going with. Um, yeah. I don't know. What else has been put on Blu-ray? Has Assault of the Killer Bimbos been put on Blu-ray yet? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. 
Uh, Robot Jocks is technically would be an Empire Pictures release. That's been put on Blu-ray, but again, that's a Screen Factory release. Um, have the transfers? I think the transfers. Oh yeah. I think transfers, and I think Doll Man. Is it, was it Doll Man that was put on it? The Pit and the Pendulum, I think, has had a Blu-ray release. Tourist Trap may have had a Blu-ray release. Um, Demonic Toys may have had a Blu-ray release. I don't know. There's a few of them that, that came out, and I think 88 Films did a whole bunch of them as well. Um, so whatever 88 Films did, the Full Moon did at the same time. I think they were working from the same masters. Just saying. Um, but yeah, that that is it. I like it. Honestly, there are probably another, I don't know, five to ten Blu-rays that have been released so far from Full Moon, but this is all I got. This is all I got. Nothing more. So, despite the fact that I am a Full Moon fan, it is probably the one studio I support, like, wholeheartedly, even when it's crap, like, you know, this, this stuff here. You know, Evil Bong garbage but I support it all the same I give Charles Bam my money yeah what are you gonna do I mean he, he he's a guy who can make money putting out um, things like film gore right it's it's technically an actual film this is considered a film but all it really is is a, like a trailer reel right and he's got so many different ones um, in that vein. Um, I think like Auditions was kind of like that, but not quite. Um, oh yeah, this one here. You know his his black exploitation one, which is actually a new one. This is he. Newly created with, um, uh, yes, Fred Williamson, the hammer, doing the, uh, wraparound, if you want to call it that. So, yeah, I'm a huge Full Moon fan, but I just don't own as much on Blu-ray. I need to correct that, I really do. But again, like anything, all the Blu-rays are in the States, and I'm in Canada, so... Money, exchange rates. God dang it. If only there were a Canadian distributor willing to pick this stuff up, because you know what? I can't get these in stores here. They just, I'm not going to find Puppet Master. I will find, um, was it Mill Creek or Echo Bridge picked up the rights and they put out those, you know, DVD packs, but that's not what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the, the good Blu rays, so. What are you going to do? Anyways, yeah, I'm rambling on about Full Moon, as I often tend to do when I get on to the Full Moon kick. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> Till next video, take care. Have a good one.